Greetings, welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. Today, Friday, we're winding up our look at uh, the book of Jonah and uh, uh, some verses in chapter 3 and offering some thoughts for reflection. You know, I think this, uh, the story of Jonah is, uh, among many things, a great story of God's calling. And I think most Christians would probably think they're not called by God. Uh, you know, that's reserved for uh, religious folks, uh, you know, paid ministers and such. I think a lot of folks come up with, come up with all kinds of excuses for not following God's call uh, into ministry, whatever form of ministry uh, God calls them into. Uh, and I know that was certainly the case for me. Um, I, I uh, you know, grew up Catholic, as I've mentioned before, and I, I, I sort of felt God calling me at a very young age, but of course, uh, I didn't really want to become a priest. And, uh, you know, at some point I became married and then divorced and had kids, and so that ship sort of sailed. Um, and then uh, I thought about maybe becoming a Protestant minister, but of course, I didn't really have the money to go to seminary, and so uh, that ship sort of sailed. And, uh, but then licensed ministry, uh, I became aware of, and, and that seemed affordable to me. And I thought, well, maybe I could do that. But then I thought, eh, you know, it's not really, conv- I'm working two jobs at the time. It's not really convenient for me. Uh, I don't I don't have a way to get there to the classes. And then a good friend of mine showed up uh, named Wally. And uh, he said, well, I, I already signed you up for this class. I, I'm going to give you a ride. Uh, I bought the book for you. And uh, so he was sort of a force of nature and, and kind of brought me along with him. And you know, uh, I think at every point in my journey of, of, of ministry and discerning God's calling, I, I resisted. And I think, you know, we do that a lot with God's calling. And certainly, uh, certainly Jonah did that. Uh, talking about ships sailing, uh, he, uh, he actually got on a boat to another uh, town uh, opposite of the of the town where God called him to go to. God called him to go to Nineveh. He he gets in a ship to sail for Tarshish, and uh, and and ends up you know going overboard and 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 swallowed up in the belly of a great fish, and uh, so Jonah certainly uh, very dramatically resisted God's call, and uh, we hear in chapter three the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. God didn't give up on Jonah. God knew that Jonah was resisting, but God was persistent and said, guess what? You're not getting away from me. I'm calling you as many times as it takes for you to follow. And uh, I'm pretty sure God does the same for each and every one of us. Um, Even those of us who feel that, you know, God's calling is reserved for special quote unquote religious people. God persists. God calls us. God continues to call us um, our entire lives. I think, you know, for me, uh, I have a lot of friends who are pastors, but I think some of the most spiritual, inspiring people I've I've known uh, in my life have been people who are not paid preachers or paid pastors, um, but have definitely been called by God to minister. Um, I love Frederick Beekner's definition of of calling as as the place where our deep gladness and the world's need meets. And I think, you know, no matter who we are or what station of life we find ourselves in, we all have things we can find gladness in. We all have things we enjoy doing. And certainly the world will never run out of need. And so I think we can always, uh, you know, in ways large and small, uh, find those places where God has called us to be. And uh, like Jonah, uh, I think we are, we are to respond to that calling. One thing we know for sure, we can resist, we can ignore, but God's going to keep calling us, all of us. Amen.